wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 7 best JTAG emulators. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 7, the Daoki ST-Link V2 is a compact option for ST microcontrollers. It operates on a 5 volt power supply and is compatible with the ST Visual Develop software for STM8 chips and Atolic True Studio for STM32 controllers, as well as other non-native applications. It's a reliable model for its price and supports automatic firmware updates, but it is only suitable for a few microchips. At number 6, the compatible Atmel Ice Mark II supports standard programming features on many AVR microcontrollers. It's an economical choice compared to some of the more feature-rich models available and is equipped with both USB and RS-232 output interfaces. It includes multiple input adapters and is lightweight and easy to carry around. However, it's not the most powerful AVR debugger. Coming in at number 5 on our list, the Sega J-Link EDU can perform most basic debugging features like stepping, adding breakpoints, inspecting control registers and executing code blocks. It supports a broad range of processors including ARM and Renesas RX chips. It's cheaper than many other models and was built as a tool for educational use, but its download speeds can be slow. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for JTAG emulators, or simply click beneath this video. At number 4, the Blackhawk USB 200 is an XDS 200 class debugger made for compatible microprocessors from Texas Instruments. It provides a great balance between price and power compared to other XDS classes and works within the Code Composer Studio development environment. It outperforms the XDS 100 and is compact and easy to install. However, it is slower than newer series models. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the sleek and lightweight microchip Atmel ICE is a powerful model from a series designed specifically to troubleshoot AVR microcontrollers, but it also works well on select ARM Cortex chips. It supports the addition of up to 128 software breakpoints. It's got both SAM and AVR ports and lights to indicate its status. It's compatible with multiple processors. At number 2, the Spectrum Digital Inc. XDS510 is a high-end model with sophisticated features for compatible signal processors. It performs significantly better on throughput and interactive tests on select ARM Cortex and TMS320 chips than its predecessors. It supports embedded trace buffer and boasts very fast load processing times. However, it is more expensive than low-end models. And coming in at number 1 on our list, with an array of improved performance features, the Sega J-Link Pro is significantly more powerful and refined compared to earlier versions. Improvements include increased processing power and peak download speeds of up to 3 megabytes per second. It's got lots of memory for future updates and a built-in Ethernet port, along with an unlimited breakpoints feature. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for JTAG emulators or simply click beneath this video.